Courtney Stodden, Miss Ocean Shores Teen USA. Before Courtney Stodden would be a regular feature on TMZ and become a reality TV star appearing on Celebrity Big Brother and Couples Therapy. I've been in Barbie's boobs since I was 12. I think you might have gotten. So I think you might have gotten two orders of Barbie's boobs, maybe. Maybe, maybe three. Maybe three. Before Courtney Stodden would become a child bride at the age of 16 to 51-year-old Doug Hutchinson back in 2011. Their forbidden marriage made headlines. Where's the connection here? Emotionally, psychologically, and almost ruined his career. Before Courtney Stodden released the solo sex tape in 2015. I just hopped in the limo and I'm off to Vegas. And I'm gonna miss you like crazy. But I have something in mind. Um, I guess you could call it a little sexy documentation video. <laughs> You know this couple, they probably pitched the idea of a celebrity sex tape and the buyers, Vivid Entertainment, they were like, Doug, you can probably sit this one out. Now it's been seven years since Courtney and Doug initially tied the knot, and if you're not sure who Doug is, you might recognize him from this clip. <laughs> yeah, he was the creepy guy from the Green Mile. Anywho, the two have called it quits, and Courtney has set her sights on transitioning from reality star to pop singer. Courtney idolizes Marilyn Monroe, and many are calling her the next Anna Nicole Smith. I'm not sure if those are the best two starlets to emulate. I mean, they both ended up in Before They Were Gone videos at a young age. So let's wish Courtney the best. What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Courtney Stott and prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, not a ton of you requested this video, but her divorce is breaking news. She's also newly single, and she'll probably end up watching this video. Maybe I could actually be the next love of her life. Now that I think of it, I'm probably even too old, or she's too young for me. Wow, that just blew my mind. All right, let's just get into this video. Courtney Alexis Stodden was born on August 29th, 1994 in Tacoma, Washington. She grew up far away from the Hollywood Hills in the picturesque small town of Ocean Shores, Washington, population just 5,000. Now Courtney is the youngest daughter of Alex and Krista Stodden, and she has two older sisters, Ashley and Brittany. Now I couldn't find any info on her parents' careers, but it's clear they shared her ambition to make it in Hollywood. Her mother would go on to become Courtney's manager and appear with her on reality TV shows, while her father, He's attended many a red carpet. Here are some pics of him both hugging and kissing and then slapping his daughter on the butt in front of the paparazzi, which means in front of everyone. Leave him alone, he's a great guy. Her childhood was a happy one. I mean, take a look at these photos. She's hanging out with both Daffy Duck and Pluto on the exact same day. Courtney attended Ocean Shores Elementary School and in the fourth grade she picked up a certificate for writing excellence. She also still has her fifth grade graduation certificate. Boom! Fat God. I never miss a fact. The sacrificial profit, no conscience, I'm about to profit. A modest novice once told me rise to the point of finest. But now Courtney was vice president of her class, she was a cheerleader, and she was so popular that the other girls in the school, they were intimidated by the edgy slash cute way she dressed and danced. These are words used by her mother. She was also raised a strict Catholic and was not allowed to go on field trips without her mother's supervision or go on any sleepovers with her friends. Mom was keeping on her tight leash, but not for long. When she was 10, Courtney told her mother she wanted to be a performer and mom had no problem with her daughter's ambitions, so she signed her up with John Casablanca's modeling agency, hoping that she would book some work. Courtney posed for her first photos ever alongside her sisters. All of them were in bikinis. This was when she was 12 or 13. In a town of just 5,000 residents, neighbors knew her as the girl who always wore makeup and pranced around in high heels and low cut tops, even when she was just walking her dogs. Now an editor of a local newspaper described her as a girl with a burning desire to make it big. Of course she set up her own YouTube channel and began posting some music videos. I go shopping, uh, uh, I be popping. When I'm a walking, uh, uh, got me dropping. From January of 2009 to September of 2010, Courtney hosted five episodes of a local cable access show titled The Courtney Stodded Show. In this, she would conduct interviews and focused on themes such as the importance of laughter. Sounds riveting. Now, the reviews on this show, according to her mother, were as follows. The men would love the show, and the women would walk by the TV set and go, what are you watching her for? 
Though Courtney competed in the local Miss Ocean Shores Teen USA Beauty Pageant back in 2009, but she didn't win. Then she signed up for the Miss Teen Washington USA Pageant in 2010, and again, she didn't win. In 2011, Courtney dropped out of high school because she was bullied over her looks, and she continued her studies from home, enrolled in Alpha Omega. This is a private online Christian academy. It was around this time that a family friend tipped off Courtney and her mom about a famed Hollywood actor named Doug Hutchinson, who was teaching acting workshops in LA. Courtney quickly got in contact with the much older man, and the two began exchanging emails on the regular. At first, Doug says he had no idea she was just a teenager. So when you found out, when how I, did you feel? Well, uh, you can imagine. I uh... Following his most iconic role in The Green Mile, this was in 1999, well, Doug has been a regular face on television. He appeared on Lost, 24, CSI Crime Scene, CSI Miami, and Law and & Order. One must assume that the 16-year-old girl was smitten with this man who had real Hollywood connections, and after four months of email exchanges, it was Courtney's mother who suggested that the two should wed. Now, 16-year-olds are able to marry in 39 states as long as there is a parental consent and proof of a birth certificate. So off to Vegas they went. Las Vegas! <laughs> Our chapel was next to a Chevron. But I didn't get married by Elvis, so no worries. <laughs> the couple were married on May 20th, 2011 in the Chapel of the Flowers in Las Vegas, Nevada. Other couples who have wed here include Dennis Rodman and uh, Carmen Electra. So you know it's good. Both of Courtney's parents were in attendance. Her mother Krista signed the legit consent form allowing the marriage, as well as having signed their marriage certificate as a witness. And from there on out, well, they were free to consummate the marriage. It's exciting to me to be with the man I loved and experience my first sexual um, encounter. I was very, very happy. I got what I wanted. <laughs> it's one of the great pleasures of life. That's right. right. The pair honeymooned at Chateau Marmont in Hollywood, where Courtney later bragged that she was aroused for 24 hours. Now, this was Doug's third marriage, and after two divorces and recovering from a drinking problem, well, he was happy to have found love once again. But his new bride, well, it would um, it would cause him no shortage of problems. A media frenzy followed, and uh, well, as a result, this is what he stated: My agent dropped me. My manager, I was blackballed by casting directors. My family excommunicated me. My brother, who I was very close to, didn't want anything to do with me. My mom as well, and my dad to some extent. On top of this, he was branded a pedophile. He would regularly receive death threats. But I suppose the guy was in love. Leave him alone, he's a great guy. Now following their marriage, there was tons of intrigue surrounding Courtney. They just went on a simple trip to a pumpkin patch, and the two got kicked off the site because she was dressed provocatively. Now reality producer Roy Bank, he began shopping a reality TV show that would follow the newlyweds and their families. Well, I guess Courtney's family, not so much Doug's. Anyway, no major network bit. And Doug, now out of work, well, the two needed a way to make some money. With media outlets requesting an interview with Courtney, well, she was able to now demand $10,000 per sit down. 17 year old media sensation Courtney Stodden and her father, Doug Hutchinson. Welcome to the Donnie Clay Show. I'm not a father, I'm her husband. There was also tons of speculation surrounding Courtney's physique, with countless questions if she had gotten any plastic surgery. Once again, her mother was quick to answer these questions, stating, Courtney hasn't told any lies, she hasn't had a boob job, she just grew bigger boobs after she hit puberty. A year after the wedding, the couple did book a gig on an established reality TV show, Couples Therapy. Dr. Jen Berman, the marriage, family, and child therapist who worked with the couple during their appearance on the show, well, she stood up for Doug, stating, He's not a predator, he's not someone who, if Courtney left him, would be trolling the internet for high school girls, for underage girls, that's not his MO. This is not a guy who is seeking out teenagers. But there were some cracks in their marriage that were exposed. Doug admitted that he didn't like the way his wife dressed all the time. He was also uncomfortable with her keeping contact with an ex-boyfriend. There was also a time when Courtney, she would get lost in all the attention they would receive on red carpets, and she would forget to not only hold his hand, but also she would forget the fact that she was married. Now a fellow housemate that was on the show described her as the following. Courtney was just a creepy, overtly sexual person. She wouldn't open up, and that's what bothered a lot of us. Obviously, there's something there. Why does this person crave so much attention? Why is this person so sexual at 17? Why is she wearing stripper clothes? 
I personally think they were there for the wrong reasons. They want to be famous. Following the show, the couple briefly split up. The two signed a legal separation document. And the document stated that they would continue to live together and Doug would continue to act as her manager, all while she started dating other men. She began dating millionaire entrepreneur Chris Sheng, and for a short period of time, she would move in with him. But then she had a bit of a breakdown and she would reconcile with Doug. They also decided to renew their wedding vows in 2016, and she also opted to go under the knife to enhance her chest. More reality TV offers would come in for Courtney. This time she was cast in Celebrity Big Brother out in the UK. Excited to be entering the Big Brother house. Yeah. Oh, come on. Be kind. Be kind. She actually did pretty good on the show. She was evicted on day 21, which is just two days before the season finale. The next big headline making event for Courtney and Doug was the announcement that they were expecting. Sadly, after just three months, well, she announced that she had had a miscarriage. Hey, Doug. Very sorry for your loss. Is there anything you want to tell your fans? No. Courtney would continue to appear on reality television. There was also an extremely awkward exchange between Courtney and her mother Krista when they appeared on Mother Daughter Experiment. Courtney accused her mother of falling in love with her husband, and Krista claimed Doug wanted to have a threesome with both her mother and daughter. Or, or both of them. Ugh. Anyway, fast forward to 2017, Courtney and Doug are officially separated. But you are out there again. Yeah, yeah. And you're, and you're dating. Yeah. And so you moved on from that. Yeah. Doug's lost. Well, I just wish him the best, you know? Like, he's, he's out of Hollywood right now. He's in Michigan. And okay. He's living in his dad's house. Oh, okay. The two ain't fighting over money, because apparently Doug, he don't have any. I mean, in reality, I was kind of the breadwinner, you know, for a while in our relationship. And really? Yeah. Courtney plans to focus more on her music career and has released a new single, Orange Juice and Pink Pills. It also appears that she has gone back with her multi-millionaire sugar daddy, Chris Shank. He's just talking bullshit to try to get laid. Sorry, but I don't fall for that crap. As for the rest of the story, well, that's where I'm going to wrap this one up which I definitely think you should do with Courtney, here for you on Before They Are Famous. My name is Michael McCrudd and we make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. If you like these type of ones, well you should check out our playlist on models. Sometimes these ones are extra fun for me to make, cause I can have a little fun with it. Anyways, let us know who you want us to document next in the comments down below. Check out our playlist, subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom! Honestly though, Courtney, if you did watch this, you know, call me. <laughs>